Hello everyone and welcome to 360 GamerCast. Before we start the show, I just want to say a special thank you to our free top tier patrons. That's Wes, Phil and John. Thank you very much for supporting the show and a big thank you to all the other Patreons who also support the show. There is a lot of you, there's 27 of you now. So a big thank you to all of you. You are all super duper awesome. And I just want to apologise, just over halfway through the show, there is we do have some technical issues where my internet dropped. I have uh, attempted to clean it up as much as possible and hopefully you don't even notice where the issue happened. But if you do... Let me know. That will help me improve my editing skills. But I do think I've done quite a good job of editing. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Enjoy this week's show. Hello and welcome to 360 GamerCast episode 94 for Tuesday the 26th of October 2021. I'm your host Mark Webb, Gamertag, PSN ID, Steam ID, Webby, 360G and joining me on this very fine evening is... Leading the charge just not to fuck this up, Cinema Dan. Big fights. And Sensei Switch. Well we kind of got there in the end, well done, well done. <laughs> Okay, so the patrons have got a very busy week this week because we've got the patron show tonight. Uh, then on Wednesday evening, we are recording a Halloween spooky special, uh, which will be launching, which will be going out for Halloween for the patrons. And then obviously we've got the standard podcast being recorded next uh, at the end of the week as well. So yeah, busy week indeed. Getting all those special episodes done. Uh, just an update on the music special episode as well. Uh, I am wearing away in the background trying to get dates organised with the relevant people to get that show recorded. Uh, hopefully that's going to happen in the next couple of weeks or so. And then once it's recorded it will take me a little bit of time to edit. But within the next month that show will be out and available for all the patrons. Uh, it's, it's, it's an epic show. If you haven't been on the Patreon for a while, I have put a little post on there for people to add into the comments their favourite tracks from video games, and I will endeavour to add them all um, with a the, with the shout-out to that person on that episode as well. So that's just another thing uh, to, to get you guys to put your favourite tracks on there. I will shout your names out. Be about uh, three hours long, one. Oh, yeah, pro- uh, pro- probably more. I'd say so. Yeah. We did one before, didn't we, years ago, which yeah. has been lost into the yeah. internet, never. Yeah. So, um, shame. But yeah. I think I'll still have it somewhere, maybe. Oh. Oh. Well, if you do, you do. send us the file. Yeah. If I find it, yeah, I'll have a look. Cool, man. Cool to the beans. Awesome. Okay. So, we all know how it rolls on a Patreon show. Um, the first 20 minutes or so is free to everybody and then it does the cut off uh i'm going to be going first into what i've been playing as i've been nominated by the rest of the crew before we started recording um my games played will probably be longer than than 20 minutes so if you're listening to the free show you're probably going to miss a lot of my games played um un- unfortunately but that's just how it goes if you do want to subscribe head to patreon.com forward slash 360 gamercast and subscribe there Five pounds a month is all it is, and you get loads of episodes. It's all awesome. Mm-hmm. Or some people say it's all gravy, baby. Yeah, or you can tune in live, like this is yeah. being recorded right now. You can hear the crew fuck everything up before it's edited. Yes, and also, if you listen live on Twitch, um, it's twitch.tv forward slash webby360g. Uh, listen live, and then you can add questions live into the chat, and I will read them out and answer them. Mm. How cool is that? Mm-hmm. So, so there is a way of getting around listening to it without with being by being a cheap ass. So yeah, get you, on it. Be, just be, have... be inventive. Yeah, if yeah. You're going to be a cheap ass. Yeah, just have to listen live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. Okay, cool. Right, I'm going to get straight into it then. I've played a lot of games this past week, a lot. So it's going to take me a little bit of time. Let's go through them. <laughs> I just want to get to my notes. 
So, first of all, I have been playing Gran Turismo Sport this week. And, um, really, really ha ha had a good time on it this week. Um, I, I was playing Gran Turismo Sport with our top tier Patreon, Wes. So that's another bonus. If you're a top tier Patreon, I will game with you more. Um, oh, that's a joke, actually. I'll just game with anybody. Uh, <laughs> game with anyone. You, 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 you need to say, I want to play Back for Blood and you can't get into a server. Oh, oh I'm gonna, gonna, yeah, I was going to get into that story. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I was most upset. Most upset. I know it was. It, it was hilarious. Uh, I loved every moment of it. Yeah, I bet you did, you bastard. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. So, I'll get into that. I'll talk about Back for Blood next. But um, Gran Turismo Sport. Obviously, myself and Wes are really excited for Gran Turismo Seven that's coming out in early March next year. Uh, there's some quite good videos on YouTube about the game, and it's looking very promising. Um, but we are really into Gran Turismo Sport at the moment. We've been playing it a lot online. There's some really good players on there. I mean, we just we we just get destroyed. But it's just all about the fun, right? And even for a PS4 game, it holds up and looks absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, we've we've just been jumping on. I've been creating lobbies, or we've been joining ran, random lobbies, and the game is still seems to be quite quite popular which is uh, quite quite surprising to see, obviously because the game's about four years or so old now. Um, but yeah, just, just really enjoying racing on that and uh, on my old favourite track, Nürburgring. Absolutely phenomenal. And it's just really all about racing games because obviously a lot of these racing games, you know, because I'm going back to like the old Xbox playing, well, I remember playing Project Gotham Racing. Um you know, and that was a fantastic series, very arcadey racing, uh, created by Bizarre Creations, and un unfortunately that studio went under. But Nurburgring is my favourite video game track, racing track to plant because I just have so many fond memories is it, of. Uh, is it the actual circuit itself or the Northschlafer? The Northschlafer. A really long slap. track that takes about 12 minutes or so to and, do uh, a lap. And, and people die on it every year yes they do yeah they do mm. indeed but i've been to the nurburgring have you really oh that's really mm. awesome, yeah a few though. years ago i had some friends who um well they raced classic formula ford cars and i was a member of the uh, the paddock crew so um i was cook so oh I, okay <laughs> i've done that a few times at various paddocks around mm. the um europe that's pretty um, awesome which, man yeah man sleeping in tents or back of trailers and Drinking cheap, warm German lager. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, good, good fun. Excellent. Yeah, so I, I have a lot of fond memories of that track in particular from Project Gotham Racing back in the day. So any racing game that has Norse Laugher in it, um, it's just the, my my go to track because I because it's kind of that muscle memory you get um, from just playing it so much. And me and Wes just had so much fun just playing that a few times online and jumping into other tracks online and it's really weird because Gran Turismo is meant to be you know ultimate racing sim sim simulator but I mean it is simmy but I don't think it's ultimate simmy because I've also been playing a game called Assetto Corsa which I mentioned last last week and that is ultimate ultimate um sim. sim yeah that's the most simmy racing game i've ever played i mean i've struggled to get a car around the lap once without fucking crashing it whereas with Gran Turismo my sport now because i've been playing it for for quite a bit the last few weeks i kind of feel like i've half mastered it i can i can do mostly clean laps now and i can take you know get the perfect corners and all that so it's quite but 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 in that aspect it's very rewarding because you you know every car does feel different so you just got to get used to those uh, those certain cars. I've just been in that kind of racing zone and I was I was in the party chat with Wes on the PlayStation and um, I was just saying to him man like because we went through a few races where we just didn't say a word to each other because we're just in that height of concentration and I said to him like after we'd been quite frustrated I said man we. You know, I was in. I was just in the zone. It's like you get this. Like once you're in the zone in a racing game, like it's hard to explain. You just that that pure 
concentrations on on another level where you're just going around the track and nothing yourself yeah yeah man it's just a man if if my missus had had walked in i must have i probably had the most gormless look on my face ever (laughs) but it's just you know that ultimate gaming concentration you get when you're just really into that you know trying to get yeah i just love that feeling that's what i'm getting with gran turismo at the moment it's just you know, I know it's an old when's, game. So when's, so, when's, so when's the next one out then? March. Is it June? I, I, it's out, I it's out in March. I think it's the 12th of March. Okay. I think. Okay. I, I know it's very early March. So. Radio. Yeah, it, it, it looks fantastic. So. Um, oh? Yeah, so next uh, I'm going to talk about some Back for Blood. Um, but yeah, so I was meant to have a game and I on this, wasn't I, Dan? Well, you, 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 it, it was out, and the, the crew was talking about it. And there were multiple arrangements, I think. Exactly, and, 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 and someone exactly, and I was sat, was out on my sofa, and I saw, oh, they're, they're playing Black for Blood. Let's go and have a game, and I got straight in. So I wonder um, why. Snooze, you lose. <laughs> yeah, no, I was a little bit annoyed because I, because I've been chatting to Darren and Peebs about doing a game tonight on Friday so I was rushing around trying to get my kids to bed and they were being a fucking pain in the ass. and I got there like 10 minutes later and I was like the game's full, cunts because <laughs> I saw all of you playing it so I knew that you four were in together um, so I ended up um, playing Sea of Thieves that night which I'll get yeah, on to as my next you had, enough, you had enough fun I mean, in all fairness we kind of predicted the reaction in Barty Chat <laughs> um, and uh, I mean I had said sorry if you don't want to think nah, no, I mean, it's, it's, all... it's just one of those snooze you lose and unfortunately when it comes to gaming these days you've got to grab what you can yeah, get yeah I know now all is forgiven it's just at that moment in time because I'd had a really shit evening trying to get my kids to bed and I was in a grumpy mood anyway I was like fucking wankers <laughs> well, 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 in truth, karma hit us that night anyway. Yeah, you, I heard you got <laughs> destroyed. Yeah, we got taken to the cleaners. Mullard. Mullard on the, on the easy mode as well. Um, I think half the problem is, is that I haven't really played it that much, so I'm still a little bit green at it. Yeah. And I, I think we well, I think we all come to the conclusion on the night is that although it's a fantastic game, and we touched upon this before that it is overtly complicated if you just want to play it casually. Um, and some of the grinding on it, Jesus Christ! Like, what was it, Darren? You had to pay like in order to get certain unlocks. Oh, know, skins, it, yeah. Oh man, it's like two hundred and fifty matches or something dumb like that. Two hundred and fifty matches as a character to unlock and, a skin. And you're like, mate, I, I don't have the time to play fucking four matches in one night anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, um, it's it's certainly stacked that way for a modern gaming audience. I mean, uh, I mean, if the most difficult thing on Left 4 Dead 2 was to get the Noam Chomsky, um, oh Chivo, yes, yeah, which was a fantastic achievement. Oh, it's one of the um, best achievements in a video game <laughs> ever, I think. Yeah, yeah, but there's none of really that. It's it's, it's overtly complicated. I, I kind of get the card system now. I really do, but ah, uh, it, it's it's just I don't have the time to invest in building up my deck. Well, it feels I, a little bit more serious than Left 4 Dead. Um, I wouldn't call it serious. No, I'd but like the story in that. I mean, because like in Left 4 Dead, like it was just kind of a. Uh, I don't know. It didn't feel serious. If that makes sense, was this? Would... This isn't serious, mate. I mean, you got fat, fat, fat fucking zombies burping on you, well, and throwing true. their guts up and exploding. There's nothing serious about this game whatsoever. Um, <laughs> it's just it's tense. It's fun. It's um, literally Left 4 Dead three. There's no doubt about it, no matter what they say. Um, but. Again, it's I think the modern sensibilities have kind of muddied it a little bit for me in, mm. in terms of a pick up and play kind of game. Yes. So now, now I go now I go back and I, I look at the menu because I've jumped in and played various levels, you know, before I've even tackled the first levels myself. So I'm kind of a bit discombobulated from that. I haven't got the chivos on them. I really couldn't care less. But even going back and realizing some of the progression you guys have got with certain card unlocks and everything and you know, obviously you've got an advantage and Left for Dead was always equal footing off the bat and now it's not and it's like it's the codified way of first person shooters which I really don't like anymore. Well it's got that hub world, you know, like a lot of the modern yeah. games as well and there's all these different areas you go to to like get your gun skins do your card decks and all that which is which I think is a little bit off putting but just, yeah. just talking about like the reason I was saying it's, it's more serious than Left for Dead is because if you play the game 
the levels in order there is a story to it which is which i feel is they're trying to take the story a little bit serious ish because it's all about the survival it's, it's and very to low on yeah position though yeah I, yeah i know but compared to left for dead but no i do understand what oh, you're yeah. on about dan because with the because on left for dead you can just jump in a game it doesn't matter what level it is you get some weapons and you go with your mates and you just play yeah Whereas on this, yeah. you, you you know, all, like a lot of it does depend on the cards you unlock along the way and put in your certain decks, and you know, because then you because as you progress through the levels, you can activate certain cards that give you more health, or you can carry more ammo, or get more stamina, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Give me a fucking pickup. I don't really care. Yeah, you know, it's it's, it's like give me a set point, give me a goal. I, I know this safe house is this far, or oh, someone's found a med pack, and we've got a rough idea. But instead, the whole kind of tactics on it basically comes down to unlocks. Yeah, and, and uh, um, health... I find that a bit of pooing. Yeah, and health packs are few and far between, unlike in Left 4 Dead as well, which yeah, is very frustrating. Exactly. I mean, I do think you know I'm I'm up to Act Three now, and I mean I mean we're finding it hard, you know, where you guys are. I mean, you wait till you get further on it. The, the, the difficulty does ramp up. And you've got to start grinding, grinding your dudes. But the, but the problem is, right, we're playing it on the easiest setting, and the game is just overwhelming at times. Well, it depends. Um, like we noticed Friday, we got absolutely destroyed. Whereas yesterday, mm-hmm. we did the first level, but after that, we kind of got into the flow. And the yeah. game seemed to ease up. It does depend on the random cards that you get chucked in. But I also think a lot of it was um, I'd already done the level, so I knew where to go as well. I was like, come on, guys, this way. Yeah, this, that. Yeah. Come this way. That, that <laughs> is, yeah, I will say the prior knowledge did help a lot. Because how many times did we get lost on Friday night? Yeah, then? I know. Uh, a number of times. And it was, it was a fact that every, and... yeah, everyone was going different directions. And yeah, you need to stick just, together. It was, it, was like, it was a fucking comedy of errors. Yeah, it's that communication. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean... I hate to do it like like last night when I was playing with the guys I went into a bit of like commando mode I was like right guys go this way this way go this way there's an enemy over there there's an enemy over there to the north it's just like that communication is just trying to keep everyone together like shout and shouting at peeps because peeps get to wandering off on this I was like peeps get over here <laughs> That's unusual. That's usually, that's usually you, you were at the front. Yeah, there, was, there was at least once last night when he were like, I'm down, someone get me. We're like, where are you? Yeah, because I was like, I want to get the objectives done. Like... <laughs> yeah, there was a couple of times where I'd wandered off and done a webby for sure, 100%. Um, yeah, that yeah, is, a, that is in the dictionary, right. ladies and gents. I've done a webby. Mm. But there it, is yeah. tense moments in every single level, though. You yeah. always yeah. have at least one or two moments. Like Even where things could go wrong and there's just one of you left up and you've got to pick the others up. Yeah. No, is it? no, it's a great co-op game. Don't, don't get me wrong. I absolutely am loving playing it. But, but my, my personal feeling is, is that it, the easy setting needs to be easier. Um, you know, and I consider myself right, so as yeah, someone who's good at video yeah. games. Yeah, I didn't say like you, you don't have to tone down the amount of zombies. Just tone down the amount of like specials that you get yeah. because when you've killed four or five and you you're literally just picking someone up and you see another three come around the corner, yeah. it's like really game? Yeah. yeah. Really? There, need, there needs to be a dirty casual mode. There I does. Think. And and that, yeah. and that's what should be the game t- um, the game mode title, dirty casual. Yeah done yeah i think so but yeah I mean, I mean the game overall is a lot of fun you can see the similarities in a lot of the character designs from the left for dead franchise as well like you've got your boomers you've got the characters which could be called your witches um you know they're all very similar but they're all called different names yeah, and it's, it's like the witch is the hag but... now isn't it right i, I think yeah, i think i'm not, pretty, I'm not much, sure who shot yeah. it it might have been peeps and it, it kind of like it was pig ugly and then it basically did a yeah. turn down and d- dug itself into the ground and fucked off. And I, the others went, oh, yeah. staying away from that. That's not right. Yeah, because if it grabs you, it takes you underground and you're dead. Gotcha. Yeah, so. Yeah, we but, go. But yeah, I'm absolutely, uh, it, it's just really nice to have a decent co-op game that, that all of us are enjoying playing again at the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that's just something good, and, and we're all kind of fight fighting to jump on. I, I know, I, I know. I personally do do think that's quite quite nice to see because with a lot of co-op games, especially over the last five or ten years, it's just been a struggle to fill up a party of four. Well, it helps that so, it's you know 
it's on Game Pass. It helps a lot. Yeah, and it's cross play as well because yeah. you've got the the dirty PlayStation fanboys but on it. It, it, and, it works. Uh, right. I'd say the cross play <laughs> works well. Yes, it does. It does. The only thing, the only thing I will mention on that, obviously, the game chat does work, but um, in between loading screens, the kind of you lose connection. Um, there's nothing yeah. quite like having the, the, the solid um, Microsoft party chat. I'm afraid there's nothing quite like it. The sound quality is better, better for a start. Um, but the, yeah. the game chat does work. Although we did have a weird glitch the other night when um, we could hear Paul for a little bit stunty for a bit. Um, and he, he couldn't yeah. hear anything. It kind of glitched, then he came back into it again for some bizarre reason. So, um, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's, there's, there's slight, that's the only technical error I've come across. Um, but it seems to work. It's not too bad, the, the, the quality of the, the talk. So, um, yeah, it's all good. Cool, man. Uh, anything else you want to mention on B, B for B? Uh, that's what I call it now. B for B. What's that? Bag for blood. Yeah. Or boys for bears or something like that. I don't know. Boys for... I don't know. Back for blood. Bros. Yeah, exactly. Boys for bros here. <laughs> blood for bros. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to move on then to a game that did hit Game Pass, but I, got, I played it for about an hour and I just didn't think it was that great um a little game called rift breaker but you, so, you are front know. loading all your shit games into the free bit aren't you <laughs> i am uh, well i don't know grand just went back for blood a decent yeah i know everyone wants to hear about the other game you've been playing <laughs> what what animal crossing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. Mm. Um, yeah, so Rift Breaker, it hit, it hit Game Pass on Xbox and PC. It's actually been out on PC for about a year on Steam. And I was thinking, oh, this actually looks quite decent because it's a mixture between base building like the old Command and Conquers and like a twin stick. Well, I'm using a mouse and keyboard, but on controller it's twin stick. Like a twin stick shooter. So it's all about your this robot thing um like mech and you'd go onto the planet and you got to steal the resources whilst killing all the uh alien animals shall we call them that um come and attack you while you're building your base and stealing energy and all that sort of stuff and i just found it a little bit overly complicated to be honest with you like, like I was doing the tutorial level, and even on that, I was like, "What the? I don't understand what the fuck I'm meant to do." Because, like, it tells you, like, "Oh, you need to build these like generator things and your base and all that." It's like, right, I'm starting to mine these certain materials, but then it doesn't say, "Oh, you need to go to this other place and mine these other materials." It like so 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 you go to build this factory or whatever and it tells you on the on the design oh you need x and y materials i was like well where the fuck do i get these other materials from i spent about 20 minutes running around the map until i found the materials in the ground i needed then i had to build a fucking extractor on it and then the power and all that and i was like oh for fuck's sake and this is meant to be a tutorial mission you're meant to be explaining what i'm meant to be fucking doing here not leaving me to run around aimlessly like a fucking idiot you, you um, so that immediately had a sort of like classic developer tutorial moment. Wow, that I just didn't fucking do it properly. Just it was just a frustrating. Anyway, um so I, I played it so I wanted to give it a fair shout. So I did play it for a little bit longer. I was building my base and enemies were coming after me and I was smashing them with my sword and shooting them with my Gatling gun on the other hand and all that. And then after about that hour of just doing the same shit, I was just like that's oh, a bit boring, isn't it? And just fucking deleted it. So uh, that was my experience with Rift Breaker, unfortunately. I don't think it's that great. Other people might enjoy those sort of games, but I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling it, to be fair. I installed it and played it for 20 seconds and deleted it. Pretty much. It's like, oh, it's top down, <laughs> delete. Got use. No, because I normally like those sort, sort, sort of games, you see. So, yeah. Yeah, I thought it looked okay, decent. Move on. I mentioned it last week, didn't I, I think? Yeah, I mean, I thought it looked decent from the trailers and that. Just, just when, when it went into practice, I was just like, meh. 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 Okay. I'm going to move on to... 
Uh, oh, I've got things a little bit out of order on my list. Um, out of order. I know. So I picked up a second Nintendo Switch this week. Mm. I knew this already. So, <laughs> so basically, what I did was because I'm a tight ass, and everyone knows it, right? Yeah. The Switch OLED is out. It's too. It's too pricey for my taste. Well, I don't. I physically don't have the money. I've got my car to fucking get fixed this month, so uh, I've got that happening next week, so I'm I'm a bit skint. But I wanted to get a second Switch because my little boy keeps playing the Switch and my missus keeps playing it, so I don't get any Switch time and I've got about 100 games on the bloody thing. So I was like, right, well, what, how the fuck am I going to get the money for a second Switch? I was like, well, I've got... Well, I thought to myself, well, I've got... A second fucking dock in my man cave anyway. I've got spare Joy-Cons. All I need is the actual fucking, you know, the Switch part, the actual tablet part of the thing. I wonder if anyone sells just those. Um, so I went on to eBay, and lo and behold, they're fucking all over the place. Yeah. So like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah, man. So I picked up a Switch, obviously secondhand, the newer battery model mm. uh, for 120 quid. So- would you think that people have stripped proper switches in order to sell the different components separately to make more of a profit per per unit? I mean, that sounds plausible. I, yeah, it sounds plausible. Or people have either given their kids their switches, a uh, switch, and they've broken the Joy Cons or something, or yeah. broken the dock. We well, you know what kids are like, right? I mean, Mar- really. Marcus drops the switch life, all the life time. Life choices, mate. Yeah, um, so it could be that, but, you know, the Switch I got, you know, the screen's immaculate. I mean, it's got a few scratches on the back of the unit, but I don't give a shit about that as long as it works, yeah, and yeah. the screen is well, that's good. decent. I'm more than happy, yeah. So um, that came. I had to buy another memory card, so I bought a 512 gig micro SD card for it. 512, and... Jesus Christ. How much that cost Yeah. yeah. Oh, 30 quid? Found and found? Fucking hell, that's not bad. Yeah, the, the prices have gone down now, haven't they? So... I've got 100 one up. What have I got? Uh, I can't remember. It's not... Yeah, I've got a 128 in the other Switch, yeah. but I wanted a big one in this one because where, where, I had a lot you, of games. Well, where couldn't... did you get that, that one from, that, that, that 500 odd? Because I'm interested in that. Uh, eBay. eBay. Oh, good God. Yeah. Okay. It was cheaper than Amazon. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a look. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 30 quid. I'll double check. I'm pretty sure it was. I'll have a look. Don't um, worry about it, man. You carry on. Yeah, it's just one of those, uh, you know, one of the standard, the SanDisk ones. Um, yeah, it was £24.66, apparently. Bargain. I like it. 200 yeah. I've already filled up to um, 128 Oh, no, sorry. No. I bought a... No, I do lie. A 256 gig. Okay, so it's about twice, So twice, I did twice, lie. Twice. So I do it. So I put... Yeah, I do apologise. The five twelve one is like sixty quid. Yeah, so um, yeah, yeah, I bought the two five six. So I do apologise for That's that. Right. Good thing I checked, really. Yeah. Um, but I managed to fit all my games on there that I've ever bought onto that SD card. So I'm, I'm more than happy. So anyway, along with that Nintendo Switch, I bought another copy of Animal Crossing because <laughs> uh, I fancy playing it. And dear God. I have been absolutely addicted to it this week. Mm-hmm. Like, not a day has gone by where I haven't played it for at you, least you've, four you've hours. You've actually, I think, I've your <laughs> time on it of nearly 15, 20 hours, I've noticed. Is it? Yeah. I haven't even fucking me, really? Yeah, let me have a look. Tell, I've only, I've not even had it a week. I can tell you now. Like, you know, you, I've been, I've been amazed how much you've been beavering on about it and laughing to myself. Uh, <laughs> not 15 hours or more you've been playing it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad for. I mean, when when did I get this? Like Tuesday, I think. So, <laughs> not not even a week yeah. yet. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying it, and and I know you've badgered on about it a lot. So, but but now I can give my kind of view on it. Um, it's very relaxing. Oh, <laughs> just it's just nice. It's just. Like when when you first put it on, it's like it's like what what the fuck are you meant to do? I like I, I sat there going. I don't know what I meant to do. I am just going to wander around and I ended up just wandering around just de-weeding the whole fucking island. And I found it quite 
were quite satisfying, oddly. And then um, as you progress, you talk to the raccoon guy, Tom Nook. Mm -hmm. Uh, You've got to pay your loan back and all that sort of stuff. I've nearly paid off my moving in fees now. Yeah. Um, I've I've actually accomplished quite a lot uh, with a little bit of help. (laughs) To be honest, yeah, so I, I had a little bit, I had a little bit of help of Dan. I went onto his island and stole his pumpkins, yeah, absolutely, and sold them Fleece, off and mate. made mixed my flowers, <laughs> made a little no, bit of profit. Nicked my, my fruit, nicked my pumpkins. <laughs> yeah, it was like I, I um, knew it was happening. I knew exactly what was going on, and it was just <laughs> the fact that it was just the brazen cheek of it. It wasn't. It was like the, the flower petals were fuck all, mate, and you were like taking every single flower. I had planted on the fucking. <laughs> I island. needed to make those bells, man. I needed yeah, to make those bells. Yeah. Um, and then he just fucked yeah. off. It's like, cheers, mate. Bye. Um, because because I learned some 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 new crafting things and and that which is cool. And I've ended up buying all a load of the Mar- the Mario stuff off the store as well. So I've got like, so I actually have a house. Can you start off with a tent? I've actually got a house now. So my house has been built, and I've got like a. Mar- I've got Mario Fire Flowers outside of it, and you know the pole from the end of Mario, and I've got the outfit, and I'm just decking it out, man. It's just, it's just odd because you, because the thing with the game is, you just, it's very different to all, like to modern games in the way that you have to be quite patient with it, mm-hmm. because not everything is just given to you on a plate. It's like as a prime example, um, there you want to build a bridge to connect between a river. It takes a day in real day in real time for that bridge to be fucking constructed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's just a little bit of patience to like everything. Like there's only a certain amount that, that you can actually really do in a day. Then you just have to put it down and then wait for the next day. Yeah. For, for I mean, to no, kind of yeah, no, you probably reset for things to happen. Now you probably see whilst well, well, I got stuck into it whilst I was you know, locked down in furlough. Um, it was yeah. a perfect kind of experience. And, and, was, and since I restarted it, I've, I've been doing the dirty time travel uh, chick trick or cheat, as they yeah. say. Where you use yeah. the, you adjust the switch um, internal clock to fast forward and rewind days, so that way you can enhance and and, and advance like um, bridges and inclines and villages moving in. Um, it just speeds things up a bit, to be honest with you. And then you can revert mm. it back. And now I've gone back to proper time. Um, I've got enough turnips at the moment because if you change time whilst you've got turnips, the to- turnips will spoil. So top tip there. Yeah, I did read that. Top tip. Yeah, there. I did read that online. Um, so I'm just doing that at the moment. I'm, I'm back on it. I think I should have my final couple of villagers moving in the next couple of days. And then um, I need to get KK Slider to have his concert. And then I should be good mm. to go. Um, yeah, I mean, what's interesting as well is, for, obviously in my household, we've now got two switches and two copies of mm. Animal Crossing. My missus has got back into it again now because she hadn't played it for a while. So we've been sitting on the sofa with a switch each and just visiting each other's islands. Have you been um, being, behaving uh, yourself at her island? No. God, that's totally cool. <laughs> Standard. And we're best friends as well in the yeah, game, so yeah. it's even worse. But yeah, well, well, you're gonna, you, if you're best friends, you, it allows you to do um, horrible shit like uh, drop no, down trees. No, I mean and I stuff. haven't been. I haven't been mean like like, yeah. like that. She's actually been been helping me out, so I could. Uh, you know, she's been gifting me certain I- items, etc. So, like, um, you you get to a point in the game where you have to build, you have to craft the items for the houses for the new people moving yeah. in. So she ended up just uh, crafting most of them for me, and then just coming over to my island and dropping them on the floor. <laughs> like I, <laughs> just so like I, because I, I didn't have the resources. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's all about resource gathering, the resource management. Um, Leon just put in the twa- in, in 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 the chat that I stole her pumpkins. Yeah. Well, I'm just a pumpkin thief. I've actually is. got a huge pumpkin patch in on my island yeah. now. No one's allowed on my island while those pumpkins are out now because I know people will want will want revenge. Well, yeah. So yeah, uh, it's, it's pretty much. Not this. I mean, you, 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 this is a war, mate. You know. It really is. I mean, I mean, I know where you live. I'll send you. I'll send you the odd note just to remind you that. <laughs> and it's it's war. It really is. Yeah, I mean, 
the thing about the game is right. <laughs> it's it's it's, it's what well, what what's quite addictive. But I mean, I've been playing it mainly in handheld mode. I have put put it on the TV sometimes, but it's just one of those kind of chill experience that you can put on while watching TV. You know. Mm-hmm. Just walking it's around a, your it's island. A, and it's a whistling bit. game, so you, you you can easily just play it, and um, you're stuck in anything to do. Okay, I'll just go and chop some woods, or I go and pick up some seashells, or I I um I'll just do this, do that. There's always something to do, um, yeah. even if it is really really minor. And then that's that's the beauty of yeah. it. You know, you just do that, and your mind disappears, and you relax, and yeah. That's... But I'm really enjoying the the customization of your house. Oh yeah, and, and your character. Like I like I'm kind of getting. To the point where I'm like, right, I want the outside of my house to look really perfect. I want that there and that there, and then the inside. I want this wallpaper and I want this on the wall there. Oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that. You know, it's it's quite nice. I'm going to get Just there eventually. Very my, chill. My goal at the yeah. moment is to get to the, the make the credits roll, which essentially means you uh, do the main task that Tom Nook wants you to do, um, and then yeah. and then the island editor opens up, so you can start, um, you know, take, removing cliffs and. Uh, putting in you know water um, areas and whatnot because at the moment that's all locked out. Oh, that's good. So oh, that's okay. what I'm trying to do at the moment. And the only way you can do that is get all your villagers to move in, um, and then start decorating the place, I guess. And then being, um, I think, uh, I think it was Saturday, um, KK Slider will turn up or something like that. Or there'll be a, a time when KK Slider will turn up, and then if all goes according to plan, he'll turn up every Saturday thereafter. So that's the goal I'm yeah. doing at the moment. How long that will take? Uh, maybe another week or so, I reckon. But yeah, okay. But we'll see. Um, cool beans. And what's that, so what's that yeah, I just need... the rest of the game's opened up. Nice. So yeah, I just need to work out the turnip price thing now. Oh, so I put, yeah. I, I found a turnip price calculator oh. online, and I'm putting the prices in. Well, we start putting the prices in tomorrow, and then kind of try and work out the best day to sell them to make a big profit. Yeah. So I spent like eighty eighty four thousand bells this that's, morning. That's, on, I uh, spent more than you, mate. I, I saw how much you spent. Well, that that's literally all the money I had. Yeah. So same here, man. Seriously, yeah. there, there was a time I was dropping about a million bells on turnips every Sunday morning, and then wow. and then basically them spoiling or. Or me basically not being able to make a profit on them and losing tons of loads and loads of bells on oh, them. Oh no! Yeah, it's it's a game. But the good news is you can actually take your turnips to other people's um, islands if they've got a good price. So yeah, um, and that's a good way of making money. That's probably the quickest and easiest way, and um, just by mm. being in the know and having enough people with Animal Crossing on, so you can literally do that. Yeah. But it, it does mean that you'll get you wake up on a Sunday at some point and just so right, how much money I've got and you'll spend as much money as you can on turnips and then you'll just sit there and yeah. wait and wait and wait and wait until it's ready <laughs> it could be days and then it gets to Saturday and you start panicking because you haven't had a good price yeah I can imagine yeah yeah no no it's a good chill game and I can see why people got into it when it came out last year it um, was the perfect I'm lockdown a little game bit like... yeah yeah, I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but obviously the reason I didn't play it was because my missus wanted to play it, and you can only have one island yeah. per console. Yeah. So I couldn't even play it if I wanted to at the time. So. Well, there's a whole load more content coming um, November the 5th, so um, get on it. That's why I'm, I'm back so, into it. If you want to listen to the rest of this week's episode, you need to subscribe over at patreon.com forward slash 360 gamercast. From as little as £5 a month, you can listen to a show every single week of the year and all the special shows that we have done in the past and we are doing in the future, including on Wednesday a Halloween spooky special and we will be doing a music special, which will probably be about four hours long. Um, which will be super awesome. In this week's show, you are missing out on plenty of game talk, Gran Turismo, Back for Blood, Mario Brothers, Pinball Effects 3, Far Cry 6, Sea of Thieves, Visage, Fast RMX, Monster Hunter, and Ghost Recon, and plenty of other games as well. Um, so make sure you sign up to the Patreon to get the rest of this week's episode and all other future episodes. It's simple to do. Once you're there, you can just listen to the show on any podcast app you want, apart from Spotify, and it automatically updates just like this show does. So you all you need is the Patreon feed and you get every single episode. So what are you doing? 
not signing up. Do it now to get your favourite podcast every single week of the year.